Have you ever spent days color grading your video? You finally finish it and you post it, but then two days later you watch it back and realize that your contrast is way off, all the skin tones are really desaturated? Yeah, me too. I freaking hate it. But I think I found a solution. Reference boards. A reference board is basically just a giant collection of screenshots taken from videos or movies, like like a mood board, basically. Having these reference images helps in three main ways. It gives you a reference point for things like exposure and contrast and saturation. It helps reset your eyes when you've been staring at the same image for 20 minutes. And at least for me, it provides some great inspiration. Let me walk you through how I created my own reference board and how I use it. I'll be using DaVinci Resolve here because that's what I edit with, but this can totally be done in Premiere Pro as well, although it is a bit harder. When building out my reference board, I'm very specifically looking for people's work that I think looks really good on multiple platforms. YouTube, Instagram, my phone, my desktop, even my TV. That way when I'm using these images as a reference point for color grading, I know that I'm referencing color grades that look really good across the board. I'm also looking for people whose color grading style matches what I want to do with my own work. They expose their highlights and skin tones the same way that I want to, the saturation is pleasing, they craft their colors in a style that I like. For me, those are people like Eric Floberg, Forestry Films, and Wayward North. I've found their films to consistently have amazing color grades that I want to replicate in my own work. And I'm not saying that I just want to copy their work exactly, I'm using their films as a reference point to inform my own color grading. Making sure that I'm exposing my subjects similarly, that my saturation isn't way off, stuff like that. I'm not going in and perfectly matching each hue so that I'm achieving the perfect forestry film style. Once I've found the filmmakers that I want to use as reference, I'll gather a handful of videos from each of them and just kind of rip them off of YouTube. <laughs> I can then import those videos into Resolve and scrub through taking screenshots on frames that I like. I save all of those to a power grade inside Resolve, which allows me to access that collection of stills from any Resolve project that I'm working on. As I get close to finishing a grade, I'll pop open my reference board and pull up images that look similar to the shot that I'm working on. I can click the split screen button and select selected images from the drop down menu. This will allow me to select reference images from my power grade album and have them display right next to the shot I'm working on. I can also click on the image wipe button for an adjustable split screen effect. From here, I'm able to use my qualifier tool and the scopes to analyze each reference frame. For example, I'll place the qualifier tool over the bride's face and check my waveform monitor to find out how bright her skin tone is. I can now compare that to the brightness of my own subject's skin tones and decide if I need to make any adjustments. I also use it a lot to see how warm or cool certain filmmakers will grade their shots. By placing the qualifier tool over something that's pure white, like the bride's dress, I can check the parade and see if the reference image has been graded more on the warm side, perfectly neutral, or on the cool side. Having the reference image right next to my own shot is also a great way to tell if I have the correct amount of contrast and saturation in my shot. I really don't use any tools for this, just kind of eyeballing it and seeing if one looks more saturated or contrasty than the other. Like I mentioned, this can totally be done in other editing programs like Premiere Pro or Final Cut, but it's definitely harder with those programs because they don't have as many color grading specific tools. Premiere doesn't have the power grades feature found in Resolve, so in order to analyze your reference images with your scopes, you'll have to import each screenshot you want to analyze. Premiere also doesn't have a qualifier tool like Resolve, so if you want to pinpoint a specific part of the image, what you can do is draw a quick mask around the area you want more information on. If I want to know how bright a groom's face was, for example, I could draw a mask around his head and check my waveform. Similarly, if I wanted to see how accurate the whites were in my reference image, I could draw a mask around the bride's dress and check the parade to see how balanced that part of the image is. My suggestion for Premiere would be to just kind of keep all of your reference images in a folder that's super easily accessible, like if it's on your desktop or something, and then open up those images right next to your program viewer in Premiere. It's definitely not as useful or fast as Resolve, but you still get a lot of the same benefits. 
And if you are really needing to know how like how bright the skin tones are in your reference image, you can always just import those stills into Premiere and use that masking trick. Now, something that would be really helpful here, especially if you've pulled in a bunch of reference images, is to organize those images into specific categories. You could do this by location, like putting all your urban city images into one folder and all your coastal beach images into another. Or go with color palette and group all your golden hour shots into one folder and all your dramatic lighting moody shots into another one. Right now, I just have all of mine dumped into one massive album, which is fine, but it can be a bit tedious to find a specific image when I'm really looking for one. I really do feel like my color grading has gotten better since I started using a reference board when I'm color grading. I'm much, much happier with how my images are turning out ever since I started using it. I talked a lot about pulling reference images from fellow creators on YouTube and Instagram and Vimeo even, but movies are obviously an amazing resource to reference as well. There's actually a really great tool specifically made for creating these reference boards from movie frames. It's called Shot Deck. It does cost money at the time of recording. It's like $100 a year or something, but they have an absolutely massive library of movie frames and everything's been tagged. So it's super easy to search and just find whatever you're looking for. It really is a great platform for creating these reference boards if you're pulling your inspiration from movies. Anyway, that's about it for me. See ya. Also, this laptop isn't even on. It's just here as a prop. I'm gonna do all my screen recording at my actual computer. <laughs> Exposing my sh- my subject. There's a nice check there. Wonderful. You couldn't have done this like five minutes ago when I wasn't recording already. It's mail time, apparently. Qualify blah, 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 blah. Woo! I can also- Oh no. Freaking lawnmowers. Ah! The lawnmower has stopped. It's like Premiere, Cr Premiere Crow. My my suggestion for my my suggestion.